Hi everyone. So this is a short video with some information regarding your child's homework and what homework engineering things consists of. So I know all of the children are so excited to begin homework and be like their older brothers and sisters. So already we're off to a great start that they're interested and eager to start. So that's a brilliant start. So first things first, this is your child's homework folder. Everything your child needs for homework will be in this folder. So all their books, all their workbooks, all their sound cards, everything will be in this folder. The homework folder goes home on a Monday and it comes back to school on a Thursday. So you don't need to bring it in and out every day. Obviously, if your child is going to after school or homework club, they can bring the folder in each day, but just needs to be back at school on Thursday so that we can correct the work and also pop in new shared reading books and new sound cards. If you have any questions regarding homework, please do not hesitate to contact me. You can meet me before school, after school, or drop me an email. Um, but hopefully this video will provide you with all the information that you need to help your child. So how can you help your child at home with homework? So a good idea would be to have a space such as the table or a desk to do their homework at. Um, turn off the TV, limit all distractions, to put away the tablet. Homework in junior infant should take no longer than 15 minutes, but when we say 15 minutes, it's 15 minutes of full concentration on their homework. If it's taking any longer than 15 minutes or if homework is causing stress, obviously it's written here, homework should never be stressful, but if it is causing some stress, please come and speak to me. There's always something that we can work on together. Maybe we can change up the homework a little bit. So please come and talk to me if you are having a little bit of difficulty with homework at home. It's important that you show interest in their homework and encourage their efforts, praise them. Children thrive on praise. Um, but it is important that you would take an interest in their homework. Everything your child is working on at home has been prepared in school or we have been working on it in school. So nothing that your child is working on at home will be new to them. Um, so it's important to encourage them and praise them because they'll be so excited to show you their work. So the first thing in our homework is our nursery rhyme. So everybody has a nursery rhyme book in their homework folder, such as this. And we work on one nursery rhyme per week. So for the whole week, we work on one nursery rhyme. So this is an oral activity. There are some words at the bottom of the page, but I'm not asking anybody to be able to read um, the nursery rhyme just yet. This is an oral activity where your child would recite or say the nursery rhyme. Some supplementary activities you could do would be to um, find words that rhyme in the nursery rhyme or maybe for example like this one Humpty Dumpty wall fall can you think of another word that rhymes with wall and fall call etc so this is an oral activity all that I would be looking from here is that your child can say the nursery rhyme fluently and maybe to find some words that rhyme as you can see there's a beautiful picture at the top of each nursery rhyme so you can take a little bit of the picture and color a little piece each night so um, it's not compulsory I'm not expecting everyone to have it done but if you would like or if your child some people would love to color this and if you have time again homework should only take 15 minutes so I don't want you to spend 15 minutes just coloring the nursery rhyme but just you could take a little bit each night and color in to color in the picture but again it's not compulsory the main thing I'm looking for here is that everyone can say the nursery rhyme. Again, we focus on one nursery rhyme per week. So there's a nursery rhyme per week in here. Next is our sound cards. So in each child's folder, there will be a button wallet such as this. And inside are the sound cards. The sound cards are the phonics that we are learning at school. So at the moment, your child will have two, but again, next week they'll have four. We'll add two each week because on a Monday, we'll get a new sound on a Monday and on a Wednesday. It's important that you would revise these, all of the sounds every week. So every night you should revise all of the sounds. You can play lots of games, such as maybe go fish. So you put the sounds down, face down and play a game with your child. So you could each take turns. So pick up a sound, 
I get the sound a. Ah. When your child takes a turn, and what sound do you get? I got the sound s. So it's important that you kind of make it fun. So that's why we changed to cards this year. It's a little bit, um, there's lots of games, endless games that you can play, such as Go Fish even. Um, so it's important to make it fun. So again, I would encourage you to practice the sound every night. So what you can do then is you can ask your child what sound this letter makes. I forgot to mention we're going to focus on the sounds from September until December and then from January to June we focus on the sound and the name of the letter. So we're just focusing on the sound the letter makes in the beginning. Again, what sound does this letter make? It makes the at sound. Each letter also has a song to go with them so they could also sing that and there's also actions and we're following the Jolly Phonics program. Um, so if you're unfamiliar with the songs, they're actually on YouTube. You can find them on YouTube, but don't worry because your child will soon teach you. Um, so again, the sound the letter makes, you can trace over the sound. You can ask your child, or you can trace over the letter, sorry. You can ask your child, can you think of a word that begins with this sound? Do you know the name of the letter? Can you trace over the letter with your finger? And what sound does the letter make? So we'll add two new sounds to your sound cards each week. Also in your child's folder is an information sheet which tells you the sound and an example of each letter. Okay, because the common mistake is someone might say I, I, I for ice cream. And I suppose when it comes to the letter I, we focus on the sound I makes it. So that would be, for example, igloo, iguana, ink. So we're focusing on the sounds. Next is shared reading. So your child will have two shared reading books in their folder each week. There's also a record sheet where you would write down the um, write down the book that your child read, and you just sign it. So again, I'm not expecting anybody to be able to read these books. Um, it's for the adult to read to the child and then you could talk about the title of the book, maybe the author, get your child to turn the pages, see if they can find some of the sounds in the book, can they retell the story, what do you think this story will be about, you could do a picture walk, so just turning the page and looking at the pictures, not reading any story just yet, can you tell me what you think is happening, can you predict what is happening, in the story, can you predict what will happen? So there's lots that can be done with the shared reading books. Again, I'm not expecting anybody to be able to read these books. It's for the adult to read to the child. Next is our homework book and also the Grow and Love book. So firstly is our homework book. And each night there is an activity for a Monday, a Tuesday and a Wednesday night. Up at the top of each page, there's the day that corresponds with the activity. So you'll have an activity from Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday each week. Okay. Again, these are things that your child will have worked on at school. And on a Wednesday night, you will also have the Grow and Love, which is our religion program. We'll have the lesson completed at school, and it will be an activity for your child to complete at home. Um, again, I suppose the important point to say about the homework book is that to get into a, new, a good routine, we sent home the homework on a Monday and collected on a Thursday. It is good practice to do the homework each night. So don't leave it all until a Wednesday night. That just causes stress. And it also then, you're just rushing to get the work done. So it is important to get into a good practice and have good routine going. Do the homework each night. It's important to get into a good routine. Then on a Thursday, which I think is a favorite for lots of people, is our alternative homework. So on a Thursday here in Prez, we do alternative homework. This consists of active homework, board games, STEM activities, mindfulness, yoga, art and crafts. So. We will assign the activity on Seesaw and it's important that you would maybe record a picture or a video and send it back to us so that we know you completed the homework and also so that we can show the other boys and girls at school on Friday. 
Children st should still practice their sounds on a Thursday, so it is important that you practice the sounds. Again, make a game out of it, you know, play go fish, um, look for sounds as you're driving, maybe um, when you're reading your nighttime story, look for the sounds in the book. So it's important to practice your sounds every day um, because this is obviously um, one of the ways that we will be learning blending and learning how to read. So it is important to practice your sounds. I hope this has been helpful for you. Again, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. You can meet me in the morning or after school or drop me an email if you have any questions. And like I said, homework shouldn't be stressful. So if it is causing some stress at home, please come and talk to me. There's always something that we can work out together. Um, so please do not hesitate to contact me if you have any issues or concerns or questions. Thank you.